Hawaii time! Get your pants on, it's time to go! Hi, Gigi! Let's go get in the car, guys! We gotta go, I'm like being super calm, but we gotta go, go, go! There she is! A natural young yeti in the wild! Dad, no one's in the mood for that! No one! <laughs> okay, alright, but let's go, Kate! Okay? Get in the big van, baby! Alright guys, we're on our way. And as always, we're a little bit tied on time. Here we are, driving to the airport. In a rush like always. It's tight. It's gonna be tight. But we're gonna see if we can make it. It's beautiful. We've been singing Disney songs like always. Ready to run for the gate? Yeah! Just like home alone? We're basically home alone. But we didn't forget Grant. Grant's right here. Grant, what would you do if we forgot you at home? Would you go to the grocery store and buy the laundry soap and do your own laundry? Probably go over the night. You just go to the neighbor's house. That's a good idea. Well, dropped them off, and uh, we'll see if they make it to the luggage counter in time. Leslie was doing some last minute bag prep, so we'll see. It's pretty tight, but it's kind of a small airport. Hopefully the 10 mile walk to the other terminal doesn't kill me. Flying for eight hours isn't long enough. Now we're in the DMV line in Hawaii, which is the QR, let's check your COVID test at a snail's pace. Okay, Grant, how are you going to feel in two years when you have the same hairline as Daddy? Um, I'll look in the mirror and just realize it was an April Fool's joke. No. Here's that girl by see see Nice single Lincoln. Sing it, buddy. Well, my Well, we just took our second COVID tests here in Hawaii at the Free Government Center right here. And we're technically still in a bubble. So we have to just hang out on the grass until they give us results. Thank goodness for phones. Ride is here! Check her out! In a second, With Grandma at the wheel. <laughs> All right, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. The biggest car hurts, Rems. <laughs> it's like Dad, driving a bus and your radius for turning is enormous. <laughs> Secret Beach in 
Kauai. I don't think it's actually that much of a secret. This is all over the hiking app I have. But Lucy and Grandma and I did this three years ago almost. It's absolutely beautiful. Lucy, what do you remember from coming here the first time? <laughs> it is a nudist beach. Dangerous undertow. This is why you will not swim here. Sure. <laughs> you just don't swim here at all. It's too dangerous. Well, yeah, so I basically came with the family to Secret Beach and when I got here, like a fire blew up in the business. We had a client giving us a little bit of a hard time. So of course, I'm in this like mega cool location and I can't even go and uh, that's unfortunately part of the work travel life when you work like I do in that some days it's totally awesome and other days it's just a little bit hectic and chaotic. I had to drive the van down, or I should say down the hill to go up the hill again to another place where I could get a few bars of reception and get the whole thing resolved. But you know, not complaining so much as everyone who thinks this is just like a walk in the park. It takes a crap ton of work, but it's so worth it. So worth it. Check this out. This is what I get to see after I get done with those types of meetings. Anyways, one of the things I've been wanting to do for ages is somewhat journal our progress and what we're trying to do. And I've just never really taken the time. Honestly, I get a little bit camera shy, especially when other people are around. So we're doing everything we can to plan for our, our Brazil launch, or I should say leave on, uh, on or around June 11th which hopefully will go well. We've actually had a few people reach out and tell us that we're totally nuts to be able to actually head out and do that. Um, and that they wouldn't recommend going to Brazil right now with all the COVID craziness, but honestly, I'm like so excited to leave. Coming back, it's been a little hard. It's been hard to kind of like find my way emotionally. We've got great friends and a great house and great people but I think I think it's just gonna be more fun for us in general out on the road we're kind of addicted to the adrenaline anyways I can't obviously go down this hill and talk to you so I'm gonna have to catch you later See ya. Yeah,